Hi guys, welcome to today's mini practice. For today's mini practice, we are going to focus on heart opening and back bends. All you need for this practice is a mat or something to lie on. We'll get started by lying down on your belly. So we start our practice by coming all the way down to the floor. Just let the heels fall out for a moment. Stack your hands, rest your forehead down. Just give the body time to arrive on your mat. Arrive and drop into the body. Just taking a note, a mental note of what's going on. What sensations and feelings make up your experience right now. And now we'll take your feet a little wider. So we'll take them towards the edges of your mat. We'll create a diamond shape with our arms. So the elbows are wide. The index fingers are about two inches apart. And we rest the forehead to the ground. We'll start with some slow somatic movements, really feeling into the movement. So keeping your head on the floor as you inhale, just begin to lift your right elbow off the floor. So lift it to a point where you can feel sensation, stay present with the sensation and lower, let go of the elbow completely as it arrives back on the floor. We'll do this two more times. Inhale, lift the elbow. Exhale, lower, completely let go. One more time like this, inhale. Exhale. The next time you lift the elbow, lift the head, turn the gaze to look out over your right elbow and then slowly release to the floor. Just do this two more times. Inhale, lift the elbow, lift the head, turn the gaze and lower, release fully. One more time like this. Inhale and exhale. We'll start on the other side, lifting the elbow first. Again, pay attention to where you feel the edges and lower completely. Inhale, lift the elbow. Exhale, release completely. Inhale, lift that left elbow. Notice where you're generating the most sensation and slowly release. Inhale, lift the elbow, lift the head, turn the gaze to look out over the left shoulder, and exhale, release back to the floor. Inhale, lift the elbow, lift the head, look out over the shoulder, and exhale, release. Just one more time like this. And let go to the floor. Now we'll take your hands nice and wide, coming into teepee fingers. The elbows are high. You can already feel the shoulders lifting here. Bring the legs in a little closer. Press actively down into your feet. Press into the pubic bone. Draw your abdomen in. And we'll lift the back ribs, then the back of the neck, and then the head. And then we'll just melt back down, rib cage, neck, and head. So as you inhale, lifting the back ribs, Back of the neck and the head. And exhale, pour the body back down. One more time like this. Inhale. And exhale completely. Just rest the forehead to the earth. Take your arms by your side. Let the heels fall out. And we can turn one ear to rest on the mat here. Soften. Surrender to the earth. Now we're coming up in a version of Shalambasana Locus. So we'll zip your legs together. Press into the tops of the feet. You can keep your arms down by your side, palms facing into the body, shoulders away from the ears. Bring your forehead to the earth. 
press down into the pubic bone and lift the legs. So don't worry about lifting them high, just activate the legs. Lengthen out through the toes and then we float the upper body up too, reaching the fingers towards the back of the mat. Try not to lift the head, so we'll keep all sides of the neck nice and long. Strengthening the back of the body, opening the heart. We'll take one more breath like this, inhale. Exhale, lower palms up, heels out, turn one ear to the mat. Soften and surrender. Now bring the forehead to the earth. We're going to make our way into a sphinx pose. So uh, feet are hip distance apart. We'll take the elbows underneath your shoulders here, palms facing down. So middle fingers facing the front of the mat. You can begin to hug the elbows back in towards your body and draw the chest between the upper arms. So it's up to you whether you keep the chin parallel to the floor in pure sphinx style, gaze down the tip of the nose here, or if you like, you can drop the chin to the chest. If you're not really feeling anything around the lumbar spine here, we can bend the legs here too, which will increase the curve of the lumbar spine. We'll take a few breaths. So shoulders away from the ears. The heart is open and expansive. We'll take one more breath here, inhale, exhale, lower the legs, take the hands underneath the shoulders and we'll press back into an extended child. So hips towards the heels as you fully lengthen here. Just bring your ears in line with your upper arms. So there's so many fun back bends you can play with, but we're just going to do one more for today. And for this, you will need a block or two. So if you have one block, if you don't have a block and you have a, a yoga mat, you can roll up your yoga mat and you can place it where we're going to place the block. If your block is very high, you might need a cushion for underneath your head. Whatever goes underneath your heart is either the same height as what's underneath your head or a little bit higher so the head can open up. I'll show you now. We're going to place this block right underneath the shoulder blades and then I can bring the, sh the shoulders to the floor here and if your head can reach the floor great and if you need a cushion you can place it here too. Just make sure that the head is not higher than the heart as we're looking for this beautiful heart opener here. If this is too strong for you, you can also do this with a bolster, I forgot to mention. If this is too strong for you here, just keep your legs bent to let the knees fall in. But if it feels okay, you can begin to extend your legs and just let the feet fall out to the side. We are going to pause here for a little bit. So do make sure that you're comfortable. Give your body time to soften, relax into the support. Breathe into your heart. So each time you're breathing into your heart, to your chest, create space. And each time you exhale, you're just softening into that space.
as we're staying here for a couple of minutes you have an option to change the legs so you could be fully extended here you could have the legs wide knees together or if you like you could take your heels back here so you get a nice stretch in your quads too only if this feels right for the body Taking three more full breaths in and out. Inhale, creating space. Exhale, softening, moving into that space. And then when you're ready, we'll slowly unwind the legs if they're bent. Bring the feet to the floor. Bring your forearms to the floor so that you can lift the head off your support. And then slowly remove your block. Or if you're using a rolled up mat, just take that out of the way. And we'll slowly arrive back on the floor. Coming into a little mini shavasana here. Opening up the arms away from the body. Palms up, fingers lightly curled. Notice the space that you have created around the mid thoracic to upper thoracic spine. Thank you for joining me for today's mini practice. Feel free to stay here for a few more minutes. From my heart to yours, namaste.